They prayed, they came together to their own company. And there are times that, you know, we go out and we, we are fellowshipping in different settings or doing different things. But we have to have an awareness that our company is powerful when we come together as, as one in unity together as our company. And so our company, the Awakened Company, is a company of faith. It's a company that's supernatural, a company that believes in the, the miraculous, a company that believes in winning souls and using the name of Jesus. 
a company that believes in binding and loosing. We believe in the power of prayer, and we know the effectiveness of prayer when we come together and we ask things in his name. And in fact, it goes so far, Jesus himself said, he went so far and said, listen, if you make a demand in my name, if it doesn't currently exist, I'll create it for you. That's in John chapter 14. Not, we're not going to go all the way back through that right now, but it simply says, if it doesn't exist, I'll create it. I'll bring it into a, an appearance state. Think of it this way. How long has electricity been here in the earth? Since the beginning. Well, uh, before the beginning in God, but since the beginning in the earth. How long have we been taking advantage of electricity in the earth? Only in the last couple hundred years to a degree. Most recently, of course, we have all kinds of electrical, electrical technology that we access. But think about this. 300 years ago, no one had any concept of this thing called the Internet. But somebody, somewhere, or a group of people, <laughs> discovered a way to harness the wireless atmosphere to create a technology that did not exist 300 years ago. Let me ask you a question. D is God limited that he doesn't still have other stuff in the atmosphere that we just haven't learned how to access yet to create things? Well, if that's true in the natural, it's also true in the supernatural and the spiritual. And if that is true of the name of individuals who had great intellect or great inspiration, how much more for us as believers who have the name of Jesus and the greatest, highest level of inspiration. So there are several things that we want to connect on and pray about today. But I wanted us to start by praying in the spirit. So if you would, if you want to stand, just hit or walk around. We've got several in the, in the room. We probably have a few watching. But I want us to just pray this out in the spirit to begin with. And every time we pray in the spirit, we're praying out mysteries that bring out, bring forth and manifest revelation knowledge of God's divine will, his divine counsels, his divine purpose. of grace boldly to obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. So, Father, I'm asking you right now to help us. Holy Spirit, help us as we pray in the Spirit. We're praying mysteries out. We're praying out revelation as we do this. And we yield our tongues, and at the same time, we yield our wills. Father, we don't always know how we ought to pray, but you do. And so we're praying in the Spirit for matters that pertain to Awaken, to Awaken Church. Matters that pertain to Jonesboro and to this city, this community. Matters that pertain to individuals that are connected to us, our families. We're praying them out. In the command of Rabbi Yeshiko, the Ramanta, the Bed, the Rabbi Yeshiko, the Ramanta. Tond Ramanta, the Bed, the Rabbi Yeshiko, the Ramanta, the Rabbi Yeshiko, the Ramanta, the Rabbi Yeshiko, the Ramanta. Tond Ramari, the Rabbi Yeshiko, the Ramanta. If you're watching, pray. Pray in the Spirit. Tond Ramanta. If you haven't received that heavenly language, pray out the, the Ephesians prayer. Pray out the Colossians prayer. Pray out the Philippians prayer. Pray out the prayers that we find in Hebrew and other New Testament passages. Pray out the Psalms. Pray out Psalm 91. Pray out Psalm 1. Pray out Psalm 112. There's plenty that you can use to pray uh, if you haven't received that heavenly language yet. And if you haven't, you can receive it. And, and you can walk in this. You can pray things out in the spirit as well. Holy Spirit. Show us how to harness things that are in the atmosphere and in the environment. There are yet things un, undiscovered. Things unknown. But we can pray these things out. We can see these things. Holy Spirit, 
Certainly, there are new technologies yet to be discovered, tongues from Mount of the Bandra. But there's new insight and revelation based off of the truth of the Word of God that we have yet to see and yet to discern. Help us to see these things. Help us to understand these things. Help us to understand these things in such a way that we can walk in them, live in them, experience them. Help us, Father, to not only see, know, and understand that that the same moment that a person gets saved, they can be healed in that same instance, and they can be filled with your spirit in that same instance with the evidence of speaking in other tongues. You're not limited. So show us, Father. Help us to access things that are in the atmosphere and in the environment so that when people come into our church, they not only can receive salvation in the sense of being saved, their souls being saved, being eternal life uh, deposited within them, but also, Father, that their physical bodies can be healed. In that same moment and instant, when they are forgiven of their sins, they are also healed. And at the same time, they can receive the Holy Spirit and speak with other tongues. There's nothing strange or cultish about that. It's just the reality of the New Testament, the New Covenant. So we're asking for the enforcement, the authorizations of the New Covenant, the New Covenant, the New Covenant that is available to us. Walking in these places of boldness and power, not for our own good, but because there are people that are lost, people that are uh, without this knowledge, this daily knowledge. And we have to be those that bring this word. You, you've called us to it. You've anointed us to it. And so we'll do it. We walk in it. Let us be like supernatural lightning rods for the realm of the spirit that we attract that power. We attract that power, that awareness, that knowledge of things yet to be discovered. Because, Father, you know we have meetings coming up. These are pivotal meetings. And for some, it's going to be landmark meetings, times where there are landmarks placed in their lives. These are transformational times and meetings for some. These is, this, this is the time for some to experience their miracle that they've been believing for, that they've been standing for. Well, Father, we're praying these things out in the Spirit. We're praying these things out so that they manifest, they are actualized, they are realized in this place, in the lives of people who are present, in tomorrow morning's service, and all of the services next week, on Friday night, Saturday morning, Saturday night, and Sunday morning. And Sunday night, and so, Father, in our praying in the Spirit, we're turning loose of these limitations, stripping off the blinders. Maria 
and we enforce our right to experience everything that has been recovered and restored by Jesus that was lost in the fall. Just like we talked about in Christ the healer, Lord, everything restored that was lost. Now let people walk in this building, walk in this room, let people viewing this, viewing our services, experience the recovery of things lost, the lost things being recovered. And showing us exactly where those lost things are so they can be relocated and reclaimed and returned to their rightful owners. Healing is a right of the owner of it. And so, Father, there are people who are going without it, and we're saying no more, no more, no more. Just like there's a tracker on my phone that will find my iPhone, that same technology in the realm of the spirit can go and track down exactly what we own what we possess, what is ours, what is our right to have, will show us the path exactly, how to navigate to go and secure that which is ours. We'll not be like those who, 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 who were told to go into the promised land, spy out the land, and see the way to go get it, and come back with an evil report. We're not coming back with an evil report. We're coming back with the good report that the land is ours, and the people are bred for us. Their defenses are departed from them. The defenses of the enemy are departed from them, and so we go in, we take the land that's ours, the places that are ours. Every service this weekend, every service all throughout next weekend, all of these services. We claim the land, Father, that is rightfully ours, that you presented to us. We take it. We take it. And this is a good thing. We taste and see, Lord, that you are good in these matters. We'll not be dissuaded. We'll not be deterred. Instead, we'll be persuaded. And we'll be determined. Now, Jesus, you did give us that right to bind and to loose things. And that which we bind or loose on the earth is bound or loosed in heaven. And so we initiate it here on the earth. We are the initiators of things that need to be bound and things that need to be loosed. And so we bind, we bind, we bind every oppositional force or spirit or attitude in the name of Jesus. Every serpentine or python-like thing that would try to constrict and limit us, we bind that right now in the authority of Jesus' name. Any remnants that are remaining, we command you to stop, cease, and desist in all of your maneuvers and operations, whether it's in regards to anything that happens in the church, anything that happens in our families, anything that happens with our children, our grandchildren, our spouses, our brothers, our sisters. Any of our relatives, we apply the blood of Jesus over these matters and over these people and over these settings now that that enemy is bound. And we loose, we continually loose and release streams, streams of freedom, streams, streams of liberty. Let your word and let your spirit have free course, liberal free course 
unhindered and unrestrained in the name of Jesus. So called Ramand Remand Ramandro, Kondramand Rebeldra, deliverance, 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 the captives being set free. Thank you, Lord. The Spirit of the Lord is upon us because you have anointed us to preach the gospel to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Well, Father, what we're doing is we're preaching the acceptable year of the Lord. We're demanding the acceptable year of the Lord, this year of jubilee that is a constant throughout this new covenant dispensation of grace. Oh, yeah, yeah, Father, yes, yes. Now we're harvesting, harvesting from prayers from decades past and years past. We're harvesting, harvesting prophecies and declarations that were made from years back, decades back, and we're calling them in. We're calling them in. You harvesting angels. Ah, so tomandre, mandre, mandre. We loose you. We commission you. We authorize you. We charge you. We command you in the name of Jesus. Bring the harvest of all of these prayers, all of these declarations, all of these prophecies from years past and decades past. All of the wells that were stopped up by the enemy now being redug, refreshed, and providing waters, deep running waters that come from rivers of living waters. Let you harvesting angels, let it be. Bring it here. Bring it to us. Every good prophecy, every good declaration, every strong, solid sound and good prayer that was prayed over this church in the last 41 years, let it all come to us. Let it all, we harvest it. We call it in, we call it to us. It's our right, we demand it. We call it to us. So called Reman, Remen, Reman, Rogodra. So all of the things that were eaten up, uh, 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 supposedly eaten up by the canker worm, the palmer worm, the locust, and all of these enemies, all of these representatives of pestilence and plague, we command you to cease everything that you did before. And we command, we command, we command it all to grow back and be restored. All of it returned and restored. All of it. We claim it all. We We call it all in. We harvest it all now by our words and by our faith. And by faith, according to our faith, it's ours. It's ours. It's ours. What you provided by grace, Father, we access by our faith. In the name of Jesus. So, so all of the souls that were to be one, all of the souls, every one of them, we stand our claim. We, we stand our ground and make our claim. We stake our claim. Souls called in. We're calling in the souls right now. The families that were ripped apart now being brought back together, restored, 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 brought back together, healed, healed, healed. I'm speaking to the houses of the people. All through the years, these 40 years, any fractured homes, fractured relationships, be mended back together and restored, I command it in the name of Jesus. So called remand, remand, remandre. Tendre, remand, remandre, so called remand, remand, remandre. 
And so the stories and the testimonies will be, will be the same as when David recovered all that was taken from Ziklag. It seemed impossible. It seemed like they were lost forever. It seemed like everything that was of value was burned and stolen and, and taken away from them. But you said, rise up and recover all. And so we do that right now. We rise up in our faith and we recover all. We recover all. We recover all. We command this to be so in the name of Jesus. We demand this to be so in the name of Jesus. Just like Peter and John spoke to that man at the gate beautiful and said in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up. And so we say it right now. Everything that's laying dormant, every potentiality, every overcovered purpose, we say rise up in the name of Jesus and come to fruition, come to harvest, and come to pass in the name, in the name, in the name, in the name of Jesus. So no, I haven't forgot. The Lord says, I haven't forgotten your labor of love and, and faith. I haven't forgotten about it at all. It's still yours. It's still here in my hand. It's still here in my presence. You seek my face, you'll get what's in my hand. If you come to my presence, you'll find out what I have available for you. Come into the presence of my word. Come into the presence of my word. Come into the presence of my word. Come into the presence of this secret place. This secret place. Yes, Father, we do receive the angel of your presence. We do receive the manifestations of your presence. We do receive the manifestations of your gifts. And we do receive the manifestations of the fruit. Now, Father, we'll come back to that. But I was impressed to remind you that you are the judge, the great judge over all the earth. You sit in a place of the highest supreme authority of all authorities. And you delegated and assigned Jesus to be our advocate, our standby, the one who could advocate uh, like a lawyer in a courtroom on our behalf. And Holy Spirit, we know that you are dispatched as an enforcer, a revealer, a teacher of truth, a, a manifester. And so, oh, so called so we, I call and we call together on this holy triumvirate, this holy trio of the highest legal jurisdiction of all things and for all time. And for those in our church who are facing legal battles, legal circumstances, legal situations, I'm asking you to intervene on their behalf right now in the name of Jesus. Intervene like only you can and intervene in such a way that it is very clear, it's very obvious that it is your doings, it is your dealings. So work on behalf of those who have legal circumstances, Father, who are dealing with any manner of legality or jurisdictional authorities here in the earth in natural things, but also in spiritual things. I'm asking you to move and work on their behalf. Bring liberty and bring freedom. Bring light and bring truth. And let all things be done well and excellently according to your jurisdictional authority. And protect, protect. You said, 
if we seek your face, we would live. Well, there are some that might be under a certain type of direction that they must seek your face in order to experience the fullness of their lives. And so we seek your face in this. We seek the face of not only the judge, because you are the great judge over all the earth, but as the father, the great father, the good father, and as the healer, Jehovah Rapha, the one who legally by covenant entered into an arrangement with Israel, but it extended through Jesus as Christ the healer. You delegated that authority to Christ. And so he is an authority in healing. And so we submit to that authority, Father, in the name of Jesus. But whatever places or ways or areas of influence that are needed for those who are a part of our congregation, those who are a part of our church, those who are watching, who are facing legal battles of any type to any degree, whether it's highly serious or minorly serious or anything in between. I'm asking you to give favor with the decision makers by your spirit and by your grace that you'll move and you'll manifest yourself and that favor and that influence on behalf of each in the name of Jesus. There's never that's ever given a more clear, pure, rendered judgment than you, Father. There's none that's argued a case better than you, Jesus, as the advocate. There's none that has searched the statutes and the judgments of all time and history and every declared thing like you have, Holy Spirit. And there are none like you angels who have, have been given the charge to go and enforce the laws, the rules, the regulations, the statutes, and the judgments, the principles and precepts of the Lord. And so we're saying enforce those things in a favorable way on behalf of our people. Enforce those things in a favorable way on behalf of our people. I say it again. Enforce these things in a favorable way on behalf of our people. Enforce these things in a favorable way on behalf of our people. And the fifth time I say it so that it's settled and established, enforce these things in a favorable way on behalf of our people. In the name, in the name, in the name of Jesus. Praying in the spirit does a body good. Praying in the spirit does a body good. Praying in the spirit does a body good. Does the mind good too. But praying in the spirit does a body good. Praying in the spirit does a body good. It'll straighten your mind out too. Praying in the spirit does a body good. Praying in the spirit does a body good. It'll fix some of those legal situations too. Praying in the spirit does a body good. You get answers that you never dreamed you could get. Pray. Praying in the spirit does a body good. It moves things around, it moves people around, it moves situations around. That's what praying in the spirit will do. It'll reveal things. You'll, re you'll have things revealed to you. Even as I was contacted by, by a, a good friend and a pastor who said they had a dream about something last night. Well, Father, I know 
Those dreams don't happen by coincidence. So I'm praying for you, Pastor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This great work that you're planting and launching will exceed the expectations of the community that you're in. There will be those who will remark and say, you can't do that in this area. This is what the Lord says to you. You can do everything I said you can do. So let these blessings rest upon Pastor Bryant. Let this revelation rest upon him in the name of Jesus. So let this certainty and this assurance be with him and upon him and walk with him every day, every day, every day. In the name And no weapon formed against you will prosper. Every tongue that rises against you in judgment is condemned quickly, immediately, and effectively. Your righteousness is of the Lord, and your heritage is as that of a child of his. And so because you willingly, freely choose to serve him and love him, he will preserve you and protect you all the days of your life. In the name of Jesus, you and your family. You and your leaders. You and your congregation. As you navigate those challenging streets and those challenging neighborhoods, canopy of protection, it's a canopy of the blood, is over, over covering you, covering you over. And it's over covering you because you're well covered, but it's more covering than you could ever imagine you would need. And that's what the blood is doing for you there, Pastor. Now, Father, we have these meetings coming up with Pastor Sharon Doherty, The Great Awakening. It's not a coincidence that that title emerged somehow through our conversations and talks both with her and amongst ourselves here. It's not a coincidence. I don't believe that it's coincidence at all. I believe it's a divine instruction, a divine appointment. In this beginning of miracles. So, Father, we're praying for every facet, every aspect of these meetings coming up. I want to start with the weather. And we're commanding the weather. We're speaking to the atmosphere. We're speaking to the environment. Chill out. Not to be cold, but to be calm. That's what I mean by chill out, weather. I'm talking to you, atmosphere. I'm talking to you, environment. I'm talking to you just above this region and this area and, this, and all of the wind patterns, the, the weather patterns, and the flow of the atmospheric barometric and all these other weather meteorological terms that I have no idea what all they mean, but I do know this, you're in control of it when we stand our place of authority and we're standing our place of authority for it, Father. Jesus, you stood at, the, at that boat and you spoke to the wind and you told it to stop and it stopped. You, and the, the, the waves calmed because you dealt with the root, the core issue. And so we're speaking to the root that would be in control of the weather in our area. And we're saying, chill out, be calm, be still in the name of Jesus. We collectively bind anything that could hinder us having uh, good weather in Jesus' name. And so we rebuke that. We rebuke any unpredictability of weather. We rebuke that in the name of Jesus. And we speak to the weather. Comfortable temperatures in the name of Jesus. Safe conditions in the name of Jesus. Easy to travel and navigate. Protect Pastor Sharon and Miriam as they travel here on uh, this upcoming week. Give them a plain path, a raised up causeway-like path 
all the way here with an angelic host of protection surrounding them every moment of their travels here, every moment that they are here in town, and every moment on their travels back to Tulsa and to their homes and to their responsibilities for that night and for that next morning. We are beseeching you, Lord, and asking you for the mercies of God and the graces of God to rest upon them as they travel, protecting them every moment of the way. And give Pastor Sharon and give uh, Miriam and any person who stands in this pulpit and sharing any announcements or offerings or transitioning and welcoming any persons involved in the worship, any altar calls and ministry time there, any ushers, every person, every greeter, every person helping with children or youth, every person handling the technology, the audio visual, the cameras, the sound. Father, let there be a grace and an anointing resting upon every volunteer, every person, every servant, every speaker, every minister, every person in Jesus' name. And coordinate it, Father, under your grace. I plead the blood of Jesus over every one of us and our families. I draw a bloodline around us right now in Jesus' name. All things run well, and we adapt. We are resilient. We are diligent. We are persevering in the name of Jesus. So called Ramandre. And we are kind and we are loving. And Father, when people walk on the grounds, they sense your presence, the awareness of your presence. And and that presence starts transforming them before they ever get in here and find a seat, before they ever get in this place and start singing, before they get in here and start receiving. That transformation is already in motion, moving. And when we shake hands or when we pray for people or when we set our countenance, our eyes upon people, Father, there's an anointing that's there. So let that anointing that is upon us in the shaking of hands, in the pointing at even people, of looking upon people, let the transference of the Holy Ghost anointing flow from us to them. And then let there be a uniting and knitting of hearts together to be in one accord, one mind, one heart, one accord in these services on Friday night, on Saturday morning with the women's meeting, on Saturday night uh, open to the public, and Sunday morning service. Knit our hearts together with unity to be in one accord. How good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. And so we dwell together in unity in this place. And let there be a full orb manifestation of the impact and the purpose of the time of ministry. As Pastor Sharon is ministering, being led by your spirit, I'm asking you, Father, that you'll weave the custom revelation in every one of our hearts in the name of Jesus. Let it be woven and together within us. Let it be embedded in earth within us. Let it become a lodged fixture, a permanent fixture within us, the revelation that is being shared and deposited, deposits of grace and deposits of truth, deposits of revelation, the deposits of the prophetic, deposits of the breakthroughs and worship. Let it all be done, Father. Let us have heightened powers of concentration and focus, Father, to flow with you, not just to intellectually receive a great message, but to spiritually receive the impartations that you have destined for us from the foundations of the earth during these meetings. Let it result in lives being transformed and changed, people being saved, brought into the kingdom of God, receiving eternal life. Let it result in families being restored and, and relationships being mended. And Let it result in divine downloads of supernatural witty inventions and creative ideas. 
entrepreneurial ideas and thoughts. So called Remand Remedre. And we'll take a new song or two. Yeah, called Remand Remand Remaille, c'est called Remandre. Mondre, meandre, meandre, beandre, condre, meandre, meandre. I'll make it too. Called Remandre, beandre, maille, c'est called Ra. Mondre, meandre, maille, c'est called Remandre, beandre, condre, meandre. Mindre, andre, cadre, meandre. And so in conjunction with this, Father, we covet, we earnestly desire the best gifts to be in operation. The gifts of the Spirit, working of miracles, gifts of healing, special faith, word of wisdom, word of knowledge, discerning of spirits, tongues, interpretation of tongues, and prophecy. All perfectly aligned and united together, woven together seamlessly in a synergy uh, with the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, long-suffering, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, meekness, temperance. You said You said now abide in faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. So let love rule and reign in these meetings. Let love rule and reign in our hearts. Let love rule and reign in our homes. Let love rule and reign in our midst. Speak to us about our destiny and about our purpose individually and corporately as a church. Speak to us, Lord, about our destiny and our purpose. Reveal it to us, Father, and make it plain, make it clear, make it accurate, and give us precision and understanding in councils. Speak to hearts one on one during these meetings. Speak to lives one on one. And let it be known and said and declared and uttered, we truly are in the presence of the Lord. Well, we know that your presence is always with us, Father. You said you would never leave us nor forsake us and that you'd be with us even to the end of the age. But our awareness of your presence can be heightened, can be tuned up. So tune us up, Lord. Tune us up, Lord. Tune us up, Lord. Tune us up, Lord. Tune us up, Lord, to your presence. Mondre, mandre, mandre. Cause us to rise up to the frequency of your presence like never before. Just like an AM or an FM radio can be tuned in to a certain station, help us to have pinpoint accuracy in tuning in to the frequency of the God channel as you're speaking to our hearts all throughout tomorrow morning, and all throughout this week and all throughout the services next weekend. Tune us up, Lord. Tune us up, Lord. And we want, I want the gifts of the Spirit in manifestation in the service in the morning. I'm asking you for it, Father. I'm asking you for it. We'll not be denied. I'm going to keep on. Yeah, we're going to keep pressing in, Lord. We are a supernatural bunch. We have a supernatural church. We are a supernatural church because we are a supernatural bunch. Let these supernatural bunches rise up. In the nature, in the eternal life nature, in the God nature that lives within us. Gadamikandre <laughs> 
Betila Bakuatila, Botilia Le Candela, Boto Colomande, Ganabedi Cando, Corobana Kinde, La Siandola, Ganamani Conde Mindalia, Secotra Mandre, Quiero Mandre Mandro, Lo Sondre Mandre, and Nekiandre Mandre, and plus Codre Badre Mandre Badre Mandre Bandre. And I also want to badre mandre mandre candre candre. Doesn't have to take that long. Condre mandre mandre badre. This year, condre mandre ma candre mandre. Yeah, that and that. Quedre mandre badre mandre mandre. That one and that one. Condre mandre mandre ma yato condre mandre mandre badre lia so to mandre. Mandre badre mandre badre lia so condre badre andro condre badre badre condre. We're not waiting on you, Lord. You're waiting on us. I am orchestrating things for your good. I am divinely aligning things for your good. The more you stay, the more staying power you will have. The more you stay your mind on me, the more staying power you will have. The more you stay in faith, the more staying power you will have. The more you stay your mind connected on life, the more power, staying power in life you will have. So stay in the place, in the place, in the place that I placed you. Stay in the place, in the place I placed you. I know it seems like the corner that you're turning is far, far away, but if you'll stay the course, stay in the place, You'll turn the corner and you'll see things that only I could provide by grace. If you had eyes that could see around the corner, you wouldn't be afraid to get connected. You'd stop being a loner. Yeah, there's benefits and rewards in the provision of fellowship. <laughs> now I've spoken to you by my spirit, and I've given you a holy tip. Take it or leave it, it's up to you, but I know what I would do if I was you. So the power is staying in the staying power. And then you'll pray for uh, 10 hours and it will feel like one hour. <laughs> See, when Moses came into my presence for what was recorded as 40 days, time moves differently in the realm of the eternal. So what was 40 days to others was only moments to me and to Moses. How could it be sustained for 40 days without eating? It's because in the presence of the Lord, the 40 days had different meaning. 
So you'll spend time in my presence, says the Lord. And I'll accelerate time outside of that door. What once would have taken days, weeks, months, or even years, will progress much more quickly because you've overcome your fears. You'll not go without, you'll not be left desolate. But instead, everything I promise is exactly what you'll get. Take heed, take heed. Take heart right now. Because by my spirit, I'll help you to navigate all of the why and all of the how. Sealed by his spirit. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's only polite to say thank you, isn't it? <laughs> and so if you're watching, you need to just be thanking the Lord. All of us in this room. We are thanking the Lord with either our hands, our hearts, our voices lifted up to just say, to say thank you to the Father. Thank you to the Son. Thank you to the Holy Ghost. Thank you to the Lord, our God. Thank you to the Lord, our Savior, Jesus. And thank you to the Spirit of Liberty. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And so, Father, thank you for the liberty that we have in the Spirit. Thank you for the eternal life and the salvation, the God kind of life that you've given to us. Thank you, Father, for this supernatural and divine plan that you've de devised and developed and you brought to fruition, you brought into realization, you brought to manifestation, you brought to demonstration. And so now we walk this out and we claim it. We claim it. We stand in the claim that you said we could claim this promised land. You've promised us land spiritually. But you've also promised us some land naturally. And so I'm claiming that land. Oh, not an acre. Ha <laughs> ha, no, 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 no. Not two acres. No, no, not five acres. No, no, too small, too small. Ten acres, getting closer, but too small, too small. Fifteen acres, yeah, yeah, getting closer, getting closer. Twenty acres, now you're talking much more closer. You're getting warm, as they would say. You're not quite hot, but you're warm. 25 acres, now you're getting into the range. 30 acres, bingo. To use a colloquial term. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So good. You're so good. You're so good. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Well, we're right at about an hour. We started a few minutes after the 3 o'clock hour of prayer. Uh, so thank you for those who joined us. Thank you to everybody in the room here. We've got, just so that you know, I know you like to know. Some people are nosy and want to know, but some people, it's just good to know. we got two, four, six, eight, nine, myself included, in the room right now. And Jesus said, where two or three are gathered together in my midst, he said, I'm right there. So we've got... We got him, we had him, we got him, and we're keeping him. Amen. So thank you for being with us. The blessing of the Lord that makes you rich adds no sorrow. Be with you all throughout this week, and we will see you next time.